Pickling lime is mostly calcium hydroxide, and these pills contain hydroxyapatite. Your teeth are made almost entirely of hydroxyapatite. So here's something interesting. When you mix either of these calcium-containing solids into water, they don't visibly dissolve. We call them insoluble compounds. And honestly, that's reassuring because nobody wants their teeth dissolving in their mouth. But there's a subtlety here because even insoluble compounds dissolve a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. Let's add universal indicator to these flasks of water. Notice the color turns yellow. This tells us the water is slightly acidic. The acidity comes from carbon dioxide in the air dissolving into the water, and that makes it acidic. Now let's add some calcium hydroxide to the middle flask. Whoa, that's a huge color change. The solution is now really basic. This happens because even though calcium hydroxide is sparingly soluble, enough of it dissolves to release a significant amount of hydroxide ions into the water. This neutralizes the carbon dioxide, and then some. Now let's try the same thing with hydroxyapatite, the stuff your teeth are made of. We get a color change again, but this time the solution's neutral, not strongly basic. What's going on? Well, hydroxyapatite also dissolves slightly, releasing some hydroxide ions into solution, but it releases far fewer of them, just enough to neutralize the dissolved CO2 and no more. So even though both solids are insoluble, they're not insoluble to the same extent. KSP tells us how much of a solid can dissolve into water and the KSP of hydroxyapatite is much smaller than the KSP of calcium hydroxide. And that's why your teeth can sit in water all day long without dissolving.